Oh my. The 90s are back, bitches. Whoa. What's up? The 90s. Scrunchies. Toxic times. You know, all that. All that good sh No internet. No internet. None. Cassette players. Yo, what is up? My name is Kaylee. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> My name is Kaylee. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for this snakes be like, yep. Ah, ah, ah. As you can tell by the title, we're doing something crazy. Kooky. So if you are not aware, about a while ago, about actually probably like a year ago, there was like this trend where people would take random objects and do their makeup with it. For today's video, I don't know, I've just been feeling inspired by the 90s and Y2K. And if you don't know what Y2K is, it's the year 2000. Yeah. And what inspired me was I've been shopping on Depop and this is not an ad, but if you want it to be, um, I am here to have an ad if you want to um, do that for me. So I have been really active on Depop and there's a lot of vintage things that are being sold, 90s, 2000s. That is what inspired me to make this video. So we are going to be doing my makeup with objects from the 90s. Inventive. No, you're not. Yes. You're just ugly. So before we get started, I just want to say, look at this. <laughs> this is me. Isn't that crazy? Um, yeah, so. First things first, I gotta go ahead and. <laughs> yeah, my skin has been so bad lately. And as you guys know, my um, eyebrows are going back. So. That's good. They look awful. Like, I really don't like the way they look, but they are slowly but surely growing back. I have been going out of my way to pluck the um, non-brown and dark hairs so it looks better. Cheddar. How you running? You suck. Anyway. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some primer on my face. I am using this Tatcha silk canvas. So I zoomed you guys in a bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this all over my face. I find that this actually doesn't really do anything. There is no noticeable difference when I put primer on my face. <laughs> um. How's everyone doing? Um, I know I am really hitting hard with these video ideas. I got lots of fun things planned for the future. I bet you're wondering, what 90s things are you gonna be using? Um, let's go. Don't worry, I gave all these items a, a thorough wash. So first things first is I'm going to be putting foundation on my face. I currently use three different foundations. I use two Wet n Wilds. One is in the color Golden Beige and Desert Beige. And then I also use a NARS foundation in Stromboli. Okay, so usually what I do is I put it on on my palms, mix it up with my beauty blender or my little finger and then use my beauty blender to pat it. But we are not using a beauty blender to apply things. I have like a bunch of stuff sitting in front of me so I don't know what to use. The first thing we're gonna be using is this lovely cassette tape right here. You guys probably don't know what a cassette tape is but let me tell you when I was growing up in the early 2000s, oh no, this is a VHS cassette. This is similar to a VHS like video, but like the cassette is similar to this. So I guess we could call it a cassette. Uh, <laughs> you can listen to music on this or you could record things before there was like a DVD player where you like stuck in a, a DV or a CD ROM and then yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna use this as a beauty blender. I think the last time I did my makeup was months ago and because it's summer i'm gonna have to go with more the dark side of the foundations i have all of my foundation on my hand and i usually use the beauty blender to mix it i usually use my finger and then i just like plop it down <sighs> this is gonna be so hard i don't even know which side to, it already got it all over it. okay i don't even know which side to use i'll just use this one This 
is so annoying. This is gonna be patchy because I can't even, how am I supposed to get underneath my eyes? This is hard. Not really working out. Ow, my, <laughs> I'm hurting my head. So like one side of my face is like, kind of done this is the dumbest video i've ever made i don't even know how i'm supposed to get it on my nose because my nose is angled what if i tried like not patting it down this shit is not blended the most trouble i'm having is like right on the bridge of my nose and because it's not absorbing the product it's hard i kind of want to do an eye look but i don't know how that's gonna go okay so i look a mess I look a mess right now, but that's okay. We're gonna figure it out. All right, so the next thing that I usually do, under eye concealer. I use this NARS concealer. It is in the color mustard. No, custard. <laughs> when you can't read. For the next item, I wanna use something that's gonna be able to get in my under eye. So we have. Yes, 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 yes. You got it right. I have a bop it right here. And I think what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the pull it for my under eyes. So I don't want to put this in the product. So I'm going to take my finger and rub it on to the bop it. I think my favorite part of my makeup routine would have to be my under eye concealer because it takes you from looking like a zombie to looking like ready, I guess. Good one. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and... Oh my God, this is so hard. I'm hurting my cheekbones. This is, it's so hard to get underneath my eye. I don't wanna get an infection. Okay, I guess like not bad. Obviously I have like this a little bit underneath my waterline that I really cannot get. Okay, so I think that's about all that's gonna happen underneath here, except I have like a little bit right there. I'll just brush that away that is my right side onto my left anyways how's everyone doing i hope everyone's good it's the creases that i know i'm gonna have like the biggest problem with just because <sighs> i can't get in the crease okay well it's not terrible for what i'm using under eye concealer is done the next thing i do is i usually take some powder and I just kind of go over it and I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to use for the powder. I think I'm just gonna skip it. <laughs> I usually do my eyes before I do my face makeup, but I kind of jumped the gun here. So for my eyes, I'm gonna use the... Hello? Bop it. Spin it. I remember being like... Debbie. I remember being like 10 and we would play this in class, like waiting for the bell to ring like in, in elementary school. Ain't that crazy? I was born in 1999. I know I just said I was born in 1999, but I was, <laughs> how, how did I miss that? I was born in 1996. <laughs> My sister was born in 1999, so maybe that's how I got it mixed up, but I was not born in 1999. So we're clearing the air. We're clearing that up. Technically, I'm a 19, I'm a 90s baby, but I wasn't like able to like experience it. Maybe I should have used this. Oh, wow. What a difference. It gets like the creases because it's rounded. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna take my 25A palette from Morphe with all these beautiful colors in it. So not a lot of blending is gonna happen here. Let's just go ahead and say that. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna dab in this one right here. <laughs> Basically ruining the thing. I barely use this palette anyway. I usually just stick with my James Charles one, so. Okay, let's go in for a shimmer. I know, yeah, so I'm just, I'm just sticking to the shimmer. I know you're supposed to. The fallout, though. Pretty. <laughs> Shut up. That's about as blended as this bitch gonna get. Time for my upper eye. Okay, well. Fox Bob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe just like, bring it out a little bit. Let me just. What if I brought it underneath? Beep like, bop. no, that's not working at all. Brought it underneath my eyes. 
the saddest part of all this is that I actually look decent, like from a good distance. Like it looked like I just put some glittery eyeshadow on, it looked nothing out of the ordinary until I put that shit underneath my eye like a dumbass. Like I do this all the time. I, I get overzealous in the moment. I'm like, let's do this and fuck it all up. And now I'm pissed. Well, that is pigment. That is pigment if I've ever seen pigment. This is actually one of my favorite colors in the 35A palette. So this is gonna be a little disappointing when it's literally broken. Okay, so it's not the worst thing ever. It is, bitch. Shut up. Honestly, this is not the worst thing ever. It looks like... It looks like some type of abstract look that I'm going for. Um... So next thing we're going to be doing is bronzer. I think I'm going to be using the twist it. So I probably just got um, Ebola of the eye. Um, so that's, <laughs> that's good. So I just used this NYC bronzer. So I guess we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to have to use my finger to put it on this because it's not collecting. Not working, love. Not working. That is not working, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to do the spin it. Um, just the, you know, the. Here we go. Good. This is tragic. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to fix that with my finger. I think I needed a new bronzer anyway. Next, I use blush. Okay, so for blush, we're gonna mix it up and we're gonna be using a Polaroid camera. So this is one of the original Polaroid cameras. I got it on eBay a couple years ago and it still works. Okay, so I have this liquid blush. I have this liquid blush that I think was gonna work so much better. What is my life? Okay, that's a lot of blush. So we're just gonna go ahead and so pretty. And now we're gonna take our bop it and blend it. Ooh, blush! You can't even see it. <laughs> you can't even see this. <laughs> Okay, so you can see like a little bit of pigment, not much, but it's there. Last but certainly not least. Oh wait, hold on, my phone's ringing, one sec. Hello? Who's there? Yeah, well screw you. Yeah, okay. Yeah? Mind your business. I remember in the sixth grade, my mom had this phone for all you youngins out there. This was the shit back in like 2007, eight, but I was like in seventh grade then. I didn't have a phone then, obviously. My mom needed to get in touch with me. So she let me take this bad boy to school and I was on the bus like. And then someone said, oh my God, is that a razor? And I said, what? This whole, this whole thing is razor. I'm going to be using this for my highlight. So the one highlighter I don't really use a lot is this Becca highlighter. Oh my God, my eyes hurting. I probably already have the infection. We're gonna dip it in the highlight and then we're just gonna, just gonna go up with it. Better yet, actually. Hello? Oh my God, can y'all see that? Then obviously I'm gonna do it down my nose. Gotta put it back in my... Mascara check. Last but not least, we're using a VHS player, obviously. I literally grew up on VHS tapes. One of my favorite, honestly, it's so relevant now, but one of my favorite filmed performances of all time, I sound like an old gay man, is the Cats performance when it was going in London. Like the cat, you know, people have probably seen the, the new Cats trailer going on, but Cats originally premiered in London. And in like 1988, they recorded it there and then they put it on a VHS my mom bought it for me and it was my all-time favorite musical i think it's because i had no idea what was going on obviously the new trailer is psychotic <laughs> i wanted to be on cats and obviously like cinderella all the disney movies obviously honestly i didn't do that bad of a job besides like obviously my eyes like for my lips i'm gonna be putting on some fenty gloss bomb because uh, shit's the bomb all right and we're done thank you so much for watching this dumbass video um if i were you i wouldn't subscribe so don't do it because I'm dumb. And call me, beat me if you want to reach me. I just realized I have leftover stew from when I ate earlier in the day on my chin still.
<laughs> Anyways, so everyone, cheers to the 90s. Even though half of this shit really isn't in the 90s, but Y2K in these hoes. Goodbye.